I'm going to simulate the rest of Jason Robertson's career until the day he retires. Currently at 23 years old, he's a 90 overall with medium elite potential. And he also has some amazing attributes. 5 stars in puck skills, 5 in senses, 5 in shooting, 4.5 in defense, 4 in skating, and 4 in physical. And after signing that 4 year deal in the offseason, he currently has one of the best contracts in the NHL. With the incredible season Jason Robertson's having right now, let's see if that can translate into NHL 23. And I think it's safe to say that his success and the team's success isn't translating as the team's going to be finishing 26th in the entire league with a 36, 40, and 6 record. How did that happen? Jason Robertson, a pretty disappointing season from you, 31 goals and 58 assists for 89 points. I mean, the points you picked up, that's impressive, but the goals, I need you to score at least 50 once in your career. And the reason for that is Jason Robertson has a few challenges he has to complete before he retires. He needs to have at least three 50 goal seasons, win one Rocket Richard Trophy, record over 700 goals in his career, have a 100 point season, record over 1500 points, and win at least one Stanley Cup. And with Dallas failing to make the playoffs, the Calgary Flames are going to go on to win the Stanley Cup, defeating the Columbus Blue Jackets in seven games. Heading into year two, Jason Robinson's jumping up to a 92 overall, and this team's looking to bounce back. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're finishing with a 46 30 and 6 record, and they're ninth in the entire league. And Robertson, a slower season from him, surprisingly, only 71 points, consisting of 28 goals and 43 assists. Bro, what's going on here? I have scoring frequency at high. You should be doing way better than this. Like Austin Matthews, 64 goals and 54 assists for 118 points. I'm going to see you put up those type of numbers. In the postseason, Dallas is struggling, and they're going to end up falling to the abs in five games. But McDavid, he's not struggling in the postseason whatsoever. 20 goals and 20 assists for 40 points in 27 games as he goes on to win a Stanley Cup. Jason Robinson just dropped to a 91 overall in year three. Bro is 25 years old and dropped one overall. Now they don't want to see this man succeed whatsoever. The Dallas Stars are going to look incredibly mid this season as they're finishing 15th in the entire league. While Jason Robinson, a much better season for him, a career high, 90 points, 37 goals, and 53 assists. I do want to see you get those goal scoring numbers up though. Like look at Nathan McKinnon, 60 goals and 70 assists for 130 points. Because when I think of Nathan McKinnon, I just think of somebody that can score 60 goals. And in the postseason, the greatest franchise of all time, the St. Louis Blues are going to win the Stanley Cup and they're defeating the Dallas Stars in the first round. And of course, since we're talking about the St. Louis Blues, I'm trying to pass some YouTube subscribers. And with 73% of the people watching these videos not being subscribed, I won't be able to do that. So if you haven't already, subscribe, turn notifications on, and help me pass St. Louis. Similar to last postseason, Jason Robertson is not going to be doing anything whatsoever as he's only picking up five points. But can we just talk about the postseason scores? Jack Ross Levick is going to lead all scores with 32 points in 20 games. And who's coming in second? Nathan McKinnon. In 13 games, picked up 15 goals and 13 assists for 28 points. And if you thought that wasn't crazy enough, 78 overall Corey Perry, 40 year old. Corey Perry is going to pick up 24 points in 28 games to be the second leading scorer on the St. Louis Blues. Makes sense. After a 90 point season, Jason Robinson's jumping up to a 93 overall, but he's got Patrick Hornquist on the first line with him. So I have a ton of questions about how that's going to go. And with him only having one season left on his contract, I can't wait to see the bag he's going to secure. Although the Dallas Stars are having another disappointing season, they're just making the playoffs, finishing 17th in the entire league. And Jason Robinson, a 40 goal season from him, that's a start. I still need you to score 50 in one season, though. Also, shout out to Patrick Hornquist. He's picking up 55 points at 39 years old. I'm surprised you haven't retired yet. In the postseason, what a surprise, the Colorado Avalanche are going to be taking down the Dallas Stars in the first round once again. And Jason Robertson, you were non-existent in the postseason. One point? Absolutely ridiculous. You got to do better than that. The lack of success from Dallas is going to factor into Jason Robertson's contract extension as he's only going to sign a two-year deal. So if the Stars don't turn it around in these next two years, Jason Robertson might be leaving. And this season wasn't a good example of turning it around as Dallas is finishing 24th in the entire league. While Jason Robertson, disappointing numbers, 27 goals and 58 assists for 85 points. 27 goals is absolutely unacceptable for you, especially since you're supposed to be leading this team. But what happened to Jake Ottinger? Seriously, what happened to this man? Where is he? So I guess the Dallas Stars decided, screw it, we don't need a goalie, and they're sending Jake Ottinger to the Colorado Avalanche. This franchise is in shambles, and I don't see us turning it around anytime soon. With only one season left on Jason Robertson's contract, Dallas better step it up this season if they want him to re-sign. And right now, they have Connor Brown as one of his line mates. So that's not the most convincing thing in the world. Okay, so I didn't think our goaltending situation could get any worse, but we have a 34-year-old Jordan Bennington leading the way. I really hope there's a stud as the first overall pick because that's probably what we're going to get. At the end of the season, the fraudulent stars are going to finish with a 32, 43, and 7 record. And the fact that this team won 32 games is actually incredibly surprising to me. And given what Jason Robinson had around him, a pretty solid season from him. 43 goals and 42 assists for 85 points. And shout out to Ilya Samsonov. He's going to lead the Winnipeg Jets to a Stanley Cup while going 16 and 3 in the postseason while picking up three shutouts. Why did you just sign a seven year extension with this team? They've shown no signs of heading in the right direction. Jason, your career is going to die here. You hate to see it. You really do. We have a 68 overall goalie as one of our backs. Backups. This team has $19 million in cap space. There's literally better free agent goalies out on the market right now than we have in net. Okay, the Dallas Stars made the playoffs finishing 13th in the entire league. What's going on here? It's not like Jason Robson had a fantastic season anyway. 36 goals and 42 assists for 78 points. You didn't even put up a point a game and this team made the playoffs. And the goaltending wasn't good by any means either, but the fact that our 60 overall goalie picked up eight wins is actually incredible. I understand realism left the room years ago, but in 2029, Alexander Ovechkin just came in 
second in scoring with 120 points while picking up 56 goals at 43 years old. Ovi has scored 1,154 goals and has 2,107 points. Interesting. And in the postseason, we have to play the Colorado Avalanche, so we already know how that's going. We're falling in four games. But Robertson's putting up his best postseason numbers yet, picking up 11 points in 10 games. Joe Pavelski's still playing. He's 44 years old and he just came in fourth in postseason scoring. He is a 77 overall with AHL top six potential. I completely give up trying to understand this game. So what exactly does this team need? Because we don't need goaltending help. No, we need some more forward help. So Team Umar, welcome to the team. You're going to be on the first line with Jason Robertson and Rupe Hintz. Hopefully that's enough. This goaltending tandem, it would be great in the year 2023, but we're in the year 2029. Merzlikens and Allmark are definitely not going to be able to hold it down for us. But I guess they were able to do enough as we're going to finish 19th in the entire league. And Jason Robertson, he's finally going to complete his first challenge in the year 2030 as he's cracking the 100 point mark. But the season Jason Robertson had can't even compete to Austin Matthews who's picking up 72 goals. That just put Robertson's season to shame. But the one thing I can say that's pretty consistent about Jason Robertson's career so far, being disappointed in the postseason as we're falling in the first round. And somehow in the postseason, leading all scores is Blake Lazat. The San Jose reunion in Dallas continues as we're bringing in Tomas Hurdle. But looking at the goaltending situation, Stuart Skinner is going to be leading the way for us. So nothing could possibly go wrong. And I just thought I'd mention we have $16 million in cap space. So if this team wasn't cheap, they would actually sign a good goaltender. There's a very easy solution for this team, but for some reason, they don't want to take it. And to no surprise with having no goaltending, the team's not going to see any success whatsoever as they're finishing 29th in the entire league with Jason Robertson, his worst season of his career, 70 points. He's finishing second on the team in scoring. I need you to get out of Dallas as fast as possible because I'm getting sick and tired of the disappointment. And although he's following in the conference finals, Connor McDavid's going to be leading all postseason scores once again with 29 points in 17 games, which included 13 goals and 16 assists. Goal scoring is going to fix this team's problems. We don't need goaltending. No. Jake Getzel, welcome to the team. If we can score more goals, then we can allow more goals. But the Stars might have a savior. Manny Dalton, a medium elite goalie. He's an 83 overall. He's taken over net this season, we might actually have a chance. And the Dallas Stars are back, 10th in the entire league, 43-30-9. This team's ready to compete. Jason Robertson, another okay season from you, 44 goals and 40 assists for 84 points. Who's this dude? Callum Ritchie. He's second on the team in scoring. When did we get you? Although this team completely turned it around, we finished 10th in the entire league. I am not convinced with us whatsoever, as Manny Dalton, 30 wins with an 893 save percentage and a 350 goals against. Those are not numbers I'm comfortable with whatsoever. And shout out to the three guys that picked up 60 plus goals this season. It'd be crazy if Jason Robertson did that because sometimes he struggles to score 30 goals. So I don't know what I'm more surprised about. The fact that this team actually didn't completely disappoint me and made it all the way to the conference finals or the fact that we swept the Colorado Avalanche in the first round because both of those things seem almost impossible. And Jason Robson, easily the best postseason of his career. Five goals and 18 assists for 23 points. I never thought the day would come when you would actually perform in the postseason. So with all the momentum we created last season, we got a great goaltender in it. Now it's time for this team to get back to the top of the league or back to the bottom of the league as we're finishing 26th overall with a 36, 41, and five record. And Jason Robson, I don't even want to look at these numbers. 73 points, not even a point a game despicable. Like Jude's picking up 80 goals this season and 141 points. Now I would say I expect these numbers from you, but I don't because this is absolutely ridiculous. But 100 points a year and 50 goals, that should be the baseline. And once again, the greatest franchise of all time is winning a Stanley Cup, taking the Ottawa Senators down in seven games. Light work for a team like St. Louis. And to make things even better, we traded away our first round pick last season. So that's going over to Chicago. That was probably how we got Callum Ritchie. So it looks like the fall has begun. At 34 years old, Jason Robinson, he's dropped to an 88 overall and he only has top six potential. So he doesn't have too many years left to win a Stanley Cup. And that's one of our challenges. But since he hasn't completed basically any challenge so far, I'm not convinced he's going to be able to complete this one. Our backup's a 64 overall. This team's cooked. So 28th in the entire league is actually very surprised when having a 64 overall as the backup. Jason Robinson, wow. I could never have expected this. 67 points in 82 games. You're still an 88 overall. You still got to produce, my guy. You're still a first line player on this team. How'd the 64 overall? overall goalie put up better numbers than our starting goalie like wins yeah there's a difference there but save percentage it's the exact same and the goals against is lower for the 64 overall it'd actually be pretty crazy if this team signed a competent goalie but why would you do that with 16 million dollars in cap space so jason robertson your contract's coming to an end at the end of the year and you better leave this team i refuse to let you sign here i mean i have zero control over whether or not you re-sign here but you better not re-sign here that's all i'm saying we really didn't go out and sign another backup no we decide we're gonna run with the 69 overall again this season jason Jason Robertson, pack your bags, you're gone. Dallas, 26th in the entire league. I don't care what your record is. Jason Robertson's gone. 65 points, don't care. You're gone. Playoffs, didn't make it. But that's fine because Jason Robertson's gone. So Dallas sucked and got the seventh overall pick. And with that pick, high top six defenseman. High top six 
with the seventh overall pick. Nah. So Jason Robertson, thank you for making the right decision. I've never been more proud of you. 78 overall Jason Robertson has left the Dallas Stars and he's joined the Arizona Coyotes. They have a somewhat competent goaltender, so I know this team can actually hold it down. And for the next two seasons, you better make two playoff appearances. Arizona's going to put the Dallas Stars to shame as they're finishing ninth in the entire league with a 46-28 and 8 record. And I think that's the most wins a team that Jason Robertson's been on has gotten. That's pretty sad. What's more sad than that is the numbers Jason Robertson's putting up this season. 19 goals and 36 assists for 55 points. At 36 years old, you're just not that guy anymore. Like look at Martin Nook here. 77 goals. I dreamed of you putting up those numbers. And then you went out and had like, what, three 28 goal seasons? It's safe to say you let me down tremendously. And what a shocker in the postseason, Arizona's falling in the first round because why would Jason Robertson ever see any success? So at 37 years old, Jason Robertson, he's dropped to an 83 overall. And these next few seasons, they're going to go by fairly quick because Robertson, he just won't be able to do too much. All right, I take that back. Arizona's third in the entire league with a 48, 28, and six record. We're here. Not only do you have a chance to stay on the cup, you've returned to your old form. 71 points in 82 games. I don't care what else happens. Just win a Stanley Cup. We lost in the first round to the St. Louis Blues. First round exit, third in the entire league. Jason Robertson's last chance at a Stanley Cup. First round in seven games to the Blues. Yeah, that's tough. Why did you just return to Dallas? This team hasn't improved since you left. What's the thought process here, my guy? The goaltending isn't any better. The goaltending is actually worse. You left for two full seasons. You gave them three off seasons to rebuild this team. Their goaltending situation's worse. To show how bad this team is, Jason Robertson's going to lead the team in scoring with 79 points at 38 years old. This guy is nothing like he used to be, and somehow he's still able to lead this Dallas team. He's a 79 overall with AHL top six potential, and he's the best player in your team. And I don't think I should have to mention it, but this team's not making the playoffs. Don't think anyone saw that one coming. Okay, this might be the greatest retirement class of all time. Connor McDavid, Austin Matthews, Miko Ranton, Elias Pedersen, just to name a few. For some reason, Dallas didn't want to bring back their best player, so they're going to let Jason Robertson walk, and he's going to go over to the Winnipeg Jets. And his season in Winnipeg wasn't really anything to celebrate, as he's going to be picking up 71 points, as this team's going to be missing the playoffs. And at 39 years old in the year 2039, Jason Robertson's going to call it a career, and he's going to retire. He's picking up 589 goals, 859 assists for 1,448 points in 1,522 games. So the only challenge that Jason Robertson was able to complete is a 100-point season. He didn't win a Rocket Richard. He didn't score 50 goals. He didn't crack 1,500 points. Points. He didn't crack 700 goals. He didn't win a Stanley Cup. This dude's career was just a walking disappointment.